Welcome to Creative Sweet TV, and here's your host, Mike McHugh. What a wonderful introduction. I'd like to first of all thank my wife for such a wonderful introduction there. What a sterling job she did. And I'd also like to thank all of you for tuning in to my very first video podcast. I hope you're really going to love it. The more people that tune in, the more I'm going to want to do these things. So please tell your friends to download or subscribe to this video podcast, the Creative Sweet, Sweet Podcast. (laughs) I think you're really going to love it. I've got some wonderful tips planned for this series. I'm going to do a few little things as well. Perhaps I might even do some competitions later on. If you have any requests for a tip, please email me at mike at McHugh. Dot com dot au, that's M-C-H-U-G-H dot com dot au, Mike at McHugh dot com dot au. Gee, I nearly forgot how to spell my name. It. This particular episode, I thought I'd concentrate on doing a little tip done in a program called Adobe Illustrator CS2. There's a weird little feature in there that's throwing a few people a curveball where they're selecting things on the page and then all of a sudden a square appears around the outside of their artwork. That's around the outside of their artwork. It's called Isolate Group Mode. Isolate Group Mode. If you don't know what it is, you're going to find out what it is. I've got some more uh, information for you after this tip. Once again, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the tip. Uh, I'll be recording off the screen there. And if you've got any tips or suggestions, anything you want me to cover, please email me and I'll talk to you a little bit later on. Thank you. (laughs) This is a great little tip, actually. Um, We're going to look at a new feature, but before we do that, I just want to show you what's going on with this document. I can zoom in here a little bit and just show you. We've got the um, layers here. We've got a couple of layers, which I have locked. Uh, It's got a couple of things on there couple of layer styles and effects or whatever so if we just notice that in the layers we're going to be working on layer 2 so we won't be able to select this stuff in front we're going to jazz it up by putting a few different shapes in behind here we'll make sure our fill colors at the foreground we're going to go ahead and just draw some basic shapes so we'll we'll call that a different color there put some jazzy kind of colors in there jazzy that's what we like to see a few jazzy colors in there really stinking it up aren't I so here we go I won't get into this too much suffice if to say that this is going to look awesome so we'll we'll go back put a couple of white ones in there hey and we'll pretend that we're deliriously happy with what I've done there <laughs> excellent okay so we go back to the pointer tool and I want to select all of this stuff now I go select all and I'm gonna group it that's right I'm gonna group it which is Apple or Control G on the keyboard, which means I can now pick this stuff up and move it around. I'm just using the pointer tool there, so the pointer tool at the top of the toolbar over here. Looks cool. Now I want to move some of these dots. But because I've grouped it, does that mean I have to ungroup it? Well, no. With this new feature, Isolate Group Mode, all I have to do is double-click a group, and we end up with this gray border around the outside. The gray border around the outside means temporarily, please, ungroup this group. So if I pick up these objects, I can move them around inside the group without ungrouping. I can move them around, get them in the right spot. As a matter of fact, I can even add other elements to this group, change their colors, Give them different colors. I'm going to put a few different shapes in there. Perhaps we'll put another blue kind of color over there. It's it's looking good. And now if I double click somewhere else, we are out of isolate group mode and these are being regrouped. So it's double click for isolate group mode, double click somewhere else for not isolate group mode. Isn't that wonderful? So isolate group mode is not a bug, as some people have told me they thought it was. I keep getting this grey box around things. What do I do? Well, it means you don't have to ungroup anymore. I think it's a terrific thing. It's isolate group mode. Get used to it. I don't think you can turn it off. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
Well, what a wonderful tip, if I do say so myself. I'd like to thank a few uh, people before I finish this podcast. I'd first of all like to thank all of you for joining in. Please tell all of your friends. I'd also like to thank the good people at How to Wow, which includes myself, f- that bring you fine products such as How to Wow with Photoshop. This is from Jack Davis. I've also got here How to Wow with InDesign CS2. This is from myself and Wayne Rankin. These are all available at www.ultratraining.com. You can also find from very good bookstores the How to Wow with InDesign CS2 book, a great read, and also now the How to Wow Photoshop Elements 4. So if you have a relative trying to do some retouching, put them onto this book here, and then you will, they will bother you no more. They'll know exactly what to do. And of course, if you have any Spanish speaking friends, then InDesign CS2 Technicus Essentials is just for you. So thanks again for joining in and watching us on the Creative Sweet TV. Goodbye. Goodbye.